Hello, everyone. This is Harsh Chat, where we speak from the heart. I'm Erica. I'm Akila. I'm Nicole. Welcome to Harsh Chat. So today we're going to be talking about the issue of the bathrooms and where which bathrooms transgender are supposed to use. So we're going to talk about that tonight. So before we get into it, I thought we'd do our check-in. So how are we doing? Doing good. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. I've been feeling better. I've been doing a detox or Ooh. cleansing or I don't really know what it's called. I keep calling it a diet. It's not a diet. It's a cleanse. Mm-hmm. The Whole30, which uh-huh. has become really, really, really popular. Paleo has become really popular now, mm-hmm. so the Whole30 is based, is based off of paleo, but it's just less grains, less sugar, or no sugar, no grains, mm-hmm. really. Mm. So... It's been, it, the first week is really hard, like my friend said, like, you're going to feel some cramping, blah, blah, because you're basically detoxing. It's like, Psh, yeah, what up, man? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, it was, it was hurting. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, my God. But I did, and there's, like, absolutely no drinking, no this, no that. Mm-hmm. So what I've done, really, is so I've done it on my own way, because if I'm really craving it, I'm just, I just have, like, a little bit, because mm-hmm. I know me, if yeah. you get off of this, this cleanse, even though it's a cleanse, and a cleanse you're really not supposed to have this stuff because trying to cleanse your body i wouldn't i don't want to do it i don't want to what do you call it indulge when i finally have yeah Yeah. i have the chance so i'll just have it and then i'll maybe regret it after which is good if i regret it after because then that means i don't want it anymore Mm -hmm. but i'm feeling like better like my body and i really have lost like like healthy weight though Mm -hmm. and like because it's a paleo based diet doing that and working out oh man i'm seeing results like in a week like literally i've been working out for two weeks and i've worked out like every day this week last week only like two days i'm really trying to get back into it Mm -hmm. and i'm 100 percent seeing like results right away because it's like feeding your bones and your your muscles and everything yeah that's the thing like people don't understand it's eating and exercising that gets you the result it's not just one or the other no it's a both both that will give you and I'm trying to look good for the fourth you know I'm going back home to Florida Uh, (laughs) so you know (laughs) you know I want to walk around like a bathing suit (laughs) every day all day everywhere (laughs) I hear you you know and speaking of detox well actually I was thinking of doing the paleo diet too just same thing in moderation you know, just mm-hmm. trans. You know, take a little from this and kind of like, what's the transition? Like, yeah, you know, bit by bit. I was thinking about that, but also my um, oh my glow detox has been working really well. So mm-hmm. and it really, Yay. it's good because if you're gonna invest in a detox, then you really wanna you wanna That's do what, it. Yeah. So then you like you don't wanna indulge in all these things that you know you shouldn't be having all the time. Yeah, but like you said, true. yeah, a little bit. You know, I had did the no sugar a while ago, yep. and that has really stuck with me. And that's a for you. Amazing. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I joined that mm-hmm. no sugar. Oh, and, really? And yeah, yeah, for a month. It ended, well, it ended a while ago, but it, I see that it's not so much that I eat all the sugar all the time anymore. And I also no. know, I'm like, mm, maybe I shouldn't buy that, because I know yes. I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to eat this. Now you see, that's support at its finest. Yeah. Because you did it, my sisters did it, my cousin did it, you know, and we're all, and then I went to um, Cracker Barrel and we asked for a sugar-free syrup, mm-hmm. and mm. it was still, it was good, and then I told my family, you know, we got this sugar fruit, but that's, that's not what I wanted to say, yeah. <laughs> but I'll just, we could talk about that, that must be like another topic, but um, I'm really, I guess for my, how I'm doing, I'm really excited because um, I've had company, and you know, I love to have company and people mm-hmm. come over, so... My cousin came, and her cousin, and my cousin's best friend came, and like we did a lot of stuff. We did Escape the Room, which was really fun. What was that? Escape the Room, it's like you go into a room, and you have to try to figure out like these uh, the codes and the secrets to try to get into the next door. It's like it's a, a mystery place? game. It's yeah. like a mystery thing. Yeah, we have to go. At? Uh, what area was that in? It's like Instant Center City. That sounds fun. And it was Escape the 80s. Oh my oh, gosh, that is so perfect. I will go back. It was so much fun. You gotta so, tell me, I wanna go. It does sound yeah, like fun. Yeah. I hear people do it all the time, but I've never been to anything like that. It was so fun. Did and you go? We, no. Oh. We did some um, touristy stuff, so I took them to Pat's and Gino's and we compared which one is better. <laughs> which I think Pat's is better. In my opinion, I think so. Yeah, I like pass a little, a little bit, but not much, but a little bit. Yeah, and I love how um, I don't live that far from it. I've never done this. <laughs> you guys are yeah. from like Ohio and oh, Florida. Yeah. Well, that's how it happens. When we talk yeah. about Disney World, you probably have been to Disney probably more than I have, <laughs> to be honest. So, <laughs> yeah, so that that was cool. So I was really excited and happy, and it's like it's fun to be like around good company and mm-hmm. to you know do things and. All my work wasn't completely done, but 
I don't I, I mean I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like stay in, get yeah, stay in the moment, stay in present, enjoy my company, enjoy my time. And that's what I did. As right. we always say, so, it'll mm-hmm. get done, right? Yeah, it'll, exactly. it'll, get done. it'll get done. Especially yes, it when it comes to money. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. What about you, Akila? Me, um, I've been spending actually a, an unusual amount of time home. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jersey. This is Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I live that far. Like I'm like my family's yeah. not where you like you guys like in another state but um it's just time and work I don't get to go up as often as mm-hmm. I would like to but like the past couple of weeks have just been different things um going to this conference with my grandma and then my brother actually graduated uh from Montclair State with his oh. master's in teaching nice. master's yeah. I was so. wondering when I looked at the picture I didn't know what he graduated yeah, with I was like is this his bachelor's or master's or Yep, it's all smart little And um, yeah, he has no debt from his masters what, because what, he. What? Yeah, see, I was like so proud of this because I obviously didn't do this, but <laughs> he paid his way through while he was working. That is, he was working so and doing all that. Makes so want to cry. He has some undergrad debt, but other than that, is nothing. No, he barely has any debt. He's like set. That's awesome. So that's I was like, how thank you, because you're gonna be taking care of me later. Ah! I got so much debt. <laughs> yeah, congrats to him. Yes, yes. yes. Congratulations. But yeah, so we've been doing pretty good. Nice. All right. Okay, so again to our topic. So like I said, we're talking about the bathroom issue that's mm-hmm. you know been in the media on the news. Transgender, where are you supposed to use the restroom? So what do you mm. think about about that? Mm. I mm. <laughs> I can understand what their concerns. I can understand having concerns, but yeah. what their concerns are, I don't understand. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm-hmm. It's kind of, and what I'm talking about when I say their concerns is that um, it's a risk for children. That people are going to be, um, kids are going to get molested or not know what's happening or going on or however they want to put it, Mm -hmm. which to me just sounds quite ridiculous. It's just just like the same thing as saying, which I've heard a lot of times, males that are gay um, are are seen to be more as predators, as pedophiles, as Mm -hmm. just because they're gay. Mm-hmm. Like I've been, I've been told that, and I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. Because they want every man. Yeah, every exactly. They, they want themselves. boys and yeah. stuff like that. I'm like, just because you're gay doesn't mean that you're gonna go and get everybody and want kids. I said, <laughs> even people who are pedophiles and want little boys doesn't mean that they're gay because they could want little girls. Look, yeah. That's a whole other story. story. Yeah, that's yeah. a whole. But it's, but it's the same thing. It's like just because they're different, they have a different, well, I would say, gender and sexuality. It's hard mm-hmm. to understand yes. for a lot of people, mm-hmm. even sometimes for me. Um, but you know, I remember growing up, and it was like the huge epidemic of don't go to the bathroom by yourself because yes. on the news, this man, this woman, there's something to the little kid in the bathroom, and that <laughs> was for men's restrooms and ladies' restrooms. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah, was the anyway. thing. You know, that's not anything new about being careful going into to the, the bathrooms bathroom. because they're strangers. You don't know whose people are, but despite their sexual orientation or identity. And that's something that was brought up. It's like, why are we talking about this now? What we should have been talking about, if you're talking about protecting the kids, like, there's parents who are sending young boys by themselves to the bathroom, bathroom. or a young girl. Like, what's, why are we talking about this now? Like, predators are going to be around no matter what. That doesn't, yeah. Just because you're transgender doesn't mean you're a predator. Like, exactly. <laughs> and in all reality, like, we're talking about this in this day and age. Like, yeah, it's, when... Yeah. <laughs> When you, the, they've been going to whatever bathroom ever. all this time, so and you know, and I say, okay, I go into the bathroom. I, I, there's women who look like men, and this is a woman, and mm. they're not transgender. They just look like that, or men that look like you know. How you know? How are you supposed to know the difference? How can you tell? Up? You that, know, you can't tell. Wear a sign around our necks. Like, I am trans. Exactly. Like it's just, it's, it's terrible. I think gender neutral bathrooms are amazing. I think that they are very good because someone that if it, if you don't just know what gender exactly mm-hmm. are, you don't subscribe, or if you you know, the main one I think is if you're transitioning to a woman. If you're male transitioning to a woman, you still yeah. have your mm-hmm. male genitalia. That's the difficult one because you want a urinal versus like that's the only I think that one may be just a little bit complicated. So you can go somewhere that has a urinal and a bathroom, but mm-hmm. really all in all, no. I don't see, but I think 
gender neutral bathrooms one they can go wherever they want and so can people who are not transgender yeah it just exactly. gives you an opportunity to just go into somewhere that is mm-hmm. hey it's neutral yeah. like the family restrooms yeah yes. you know at the exactly. grocery store they had the family but you know the other night i went into a unisex bathroom and mm-hmm. i was kind of uncomfortable because i walked up i was walking to the bathroom and i saw it was just open i was like what there's no like men's women and I was like, okay, I guess I just go in here. So I go inside because there was no door, just like not, it was just <laughs> open, just open. And I walk in and there's all these stalls and the stalls had like, you know, doors. So I was like, okay, I go in the stall, I use the bathroom. I thought to myself, wow, there could be a man right next door, like using the restroom. And I'm like sitting right here, you know. Mm-hmm. Then I came out, I was washing my hands and the man just walked in. I was washing my hands and I, I felt a little uncomfortable. I was like, mm-hmm. oh. And that was of a man. That was a man. It doesn't matter if it was a woman transitioning to a man or a man transitioning to a woman. It was of a man. That was a man. And I think that's more... (laughs) I just don't understand. Yeah. And I think that's more just because of how we've been raised Mm -hmm. as women. Like... This is your restroom. This is your privacy. Yeah. I'm like fixing my makeup in the mirror and this man just walks in. Not even that. It's just we always have to look around and second Mm -hmm. guess like... Be like, okay, who's in my vicinity? Like, mm-hmm. feel protected, feel safe. And it's like, they're like men kind of like, yeah. we're walking in the street in the dark. You, you're you always looking like, no, men may hurt you. Like, that's what, right, that's, that's right. what the, that's what the um, message is. So for that, I understand why you would be nervous. You're like, mm, this is something new. Like, mm, yeah. I mean, <laughs> think about, let's say, you know, you're out. And you're at a bar or a club or something. Exactly. And you go into the bathroom and there's like the drunk girl in the bathroom yeah. crying mm-hmm. and she wants to talk to you. And you're like, I don't know you. Like, I'm just trying to get out of the bathroom. And you're sure live. You know, like, and then you imagine when you're out on the floor or at the bar and the drunk men that approach you and they can be kind of aggressive. Yes. And you're like, oh, just leave me alone. You know, I'm, I mean, you're out in the bar in public. public yeah. Imagine that in the bathroom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And that's not, I'm not even talking transgender. Yes. Yeah, so so yeah. why is. This is such a bit concerned. Exactly. <laughs> because it's feared. And yeah. We, we, we fear the unknown. And yeah. a lot of people don't understand, don't want to understand, and can't understand. So they won't understand. Yeah. And when we do that, we fear it. And when we fear, we want to try to control. Yep. Exactly. I, I read this one. Th- I was just trying to find it. That's so I was like, was what I was doing. I saw it on Facebook. But I know I can't search it on Facebook. It's a little too hard. It's something about like... We are worried about the rape of our children or or, or women more mm-hmm. um, from transgender people, something 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 like that. But we can't even um, criminalize actual rapists when they're trying to be prosecuted. Mm-hmm. So we're worried about transgender. We're worried about possible rape. We're worried about possible molestation. But no matter what gender, no matter what's going on, when you go into the courtrooms. Most likely, you don't even get prosecuted if you're the person who is is being um what do you call it? I'm losing them. Tried. Tried. Yes, mm-hmm. I, I couldn't think of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most people don't even either don't go to jail or you know oh you didn't write them we don't have enough evidence yeah. this yeah. and that. Yeah. So I think that that's funny that we're, we're we're so worried about molestation we're so worried about people being raped by transgender people in the bathroom, but when people are actually raped or are actually molested. Nothing can be done about it most exactly. of the time. Exactly. I feel like that's just the overall problem with our society in general. We are all for, like, oh, let it happen and then we'll fix it. We're, we're not about preventative. Yeah. No. At all. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. You know, I don't really have a great understanding of what the main concern is because from what I get, it's, from what I understand, it just seems that it's different and it's uncomfortable and it's unknown and I don't yeah. know. What, I, I don't exactly know what exactly the fear is. For se. for the transgender bathrooms, like why, it just makes me feel like, I guess historically, as our country fears the unknown, mm-hmm. or like whatever you don't know, there, you know, there was there a reason to be afraid, or like, well, I think the whole you know slavery and um, racism stems from fear. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. What was there you know to be afraid of in this situation? I wonder the same thing. What are exactly are you afraid of? I think it's more of the unknown or. I, I, we feel they're overpowering, or I don't know. I'm, I'm not exactly clear on what exactly are you afraid of. What do yeah. you think is going to happen? Because, like we said, mm-hmm. rape can happen. A man I mean, can walk into the women's bathroom exactly if he wants to. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's not like any radars are going off, and I'm going to 
there's no out. cameras there. Or a woman like, can walk into the male's bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Which you know? happens all the time. Women go into the male's yes. ba- men's bathroom oh, all I the can. time yeah. because, because the lines are shorter. Right, exactly. So please. <laughs> and we're less of a, quote, threat. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm and sure I, and a lot of people aren't complaining then, are they? No, they're no. not. I've gone places, too, where the bathroom is, you know, there's a door right here, a door right there, and men and women are in the same line. You just, you know, go into yeah. the restroom, and that's fine. You know, we're, we're not in there at the same time. You have to wait, but... I believe that right now, I believe that there always has to be a minority. There always has to be someone being discriminated against. Mm-hmm. Like, just, just, someone has to always be oppressed. Mm-hmm. And I do, there's many people being oppressed in our country, but recently, you know, before, before right now what we're talking about, it was, it was gay, bisexual, and, you know lesbian uh, community who was being oppressed, mm-hmm. you know, didn't have rights, didn't mm-hmm. have this, didn't mm-hmm. have that. Well, now, gay marriage is legal everywhere, so many of the rights that we're being fought for are, you know, legally, they are they can't be discriminated against because it's a law they can marry. Yeah. So I think now that we're not focused on that, we got to focus on something else mm-hmm. and be oppressing someone else and trying to have control of somebody else. So now we're going to yeah. try to go to trans transgender, and I mean in the sexuality community, before this actually came out, past about three years transgender maybe more than that I've only been in it for about three years like Mm -hmm. really been you know going to school is one of the main things for studies Mm -hmm. for 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 everything we're talking about that so much and then all of a sudden now look it's coming up but it's coming out negative we're not trying to do positive we're not trying to do and then for like Bruce Jenner to go to Caitlyn Jenner Mm -hmm. I think that stemmed a lot of uh, stuff within, what'd you say? Oh, attention. Yeah, attention, but negative attention for people and in, in, in their feelings and feeling mm-hmm. uncomfortable that somebody that they admired, someone that they loved, someone that was a, like American hero type thing in sports changed their, their gender mm-hmm. um, identity, which really, you know, bothers them. Mm-hmm. And I think that that brought negative attention to it. Positive. It brought a lot of positive for people. I think it brought a little bit of negative attention to be like, okay, now let's focus on this and oppress. Yeah. Yep. You know, speaking of oppression, the the people that are transgender that you can maybe tell mm-hmm. are the ones I think the ones I think get oppressed more because there's oh, yes. some that just mm-hmm. pass and you can't tell at all yeah. and it's not an issue for them at all. Nope. And that's the thing. How do you monitor who? Yeah. You know, Exactly. How do you know? Going back to what you said before, there are some women who look more masculine and some men who look more feminine. That doesn't mm-hmm. mean they're transgender. And then there's people... I was reading something where people are make, calling people out and they're not even transgender. Yeah. Like, why are you doing... Because <laughs> how many times have maybe you've seen someone on the train and you look and you wonder... Question. Oh, hmm, I don't know. You don't know. No. You know? And, the, and, and androgyny is mm-hmm. a really... That's where you're like, you're not subscribing to feminine, you're not subscribing to masculine. Mm-hmm. It's really pop. It's become really popular. Not to, not trans, they don't change their gender identity. They're just mm-hmm. androgynous like in a, their look. How oh would you know? Mm-hmm. What is that actress? Which one? From Orange is the New Black. Ruby, uh... Oh my god, I don't remember. What's her name? You know exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. Um, Which one? Cox. Laverne. No, 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 she, she actually is trans. All the other yeah. ones. Oh, my Ruby Rose. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> girl right there. <Girl. laughs> She's very, like. Yeah, she, she, she is fluid in her, in her gender. gender. She has a cute thing. Mm-hmm. And she's really smart. You know, she was written, so she was dating the writer. Yeah. Yep. I was like, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, like you said, it's. Oh, wait. The other girl was dating the writer, right? The one that was. Pusay. Oh, you're talking about Pusay. Oh, that's that, what you're talking about. about. No, she's talking about the, uh, the white girl with, like, the. She's a really, really pretty girl, and she has Ruby a short Rose? haircut. Is that her name? I believe that's yeah, her. Yeah, her name is Ruby Rose. She has, like, the, I think, bright blue eyes. You know who I'm talking about. Skinny. No. She was, like, a newer character. She was dating why. the girl with the blonde hair. Um, maybe. Ah, uh, oh, <laughs> yes, she's yes. so cute too. Yes, 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 real yes, quick. yes. Okay, I got yep. it. Well, the other girl's my girl, so. Oh yeah, no, her too. Yeah, that, but she. Now, she's, now I know who you're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. now I Both know who you're them. talking yeah. about. Both yeah. of them. <laughs> it's true. It's just like. I don't know. I just never understand why somebody's anything about mm-hmm. them. 
that doesn't affect them directly bothers them. Mm-hmm. Like, I get it. There's a lot of things that people don't care about when it comes into your own family you care about. And that's cool. Deal with it within your own family. Mm-hmm. But I don't understand why our own personal issues got to be political, got to, got to, has to guide that. Like, why is that guiding it? Why is it, like, well, I know why, but, like, justice or <laughs> fairness or, you know, just, just being, having good human rights. Yeah. That's the thing. We know why. It's yeah. just, like, but this question why? is still but why, why? right <laughs> well, okay we get it but why is that important why does that matter you know? yeah exactly like, but did you die like that's like that's exactly. the thing like <laughs> did you die? that makes sense to me <laughs> i think well i know in talking to people that in schools you can't say like lesbian or gay like you can't a teacher hears you saying those words like elementary school Middle school, too. Middle school, too. Yeah, like elementary, okay. middle school. He did you hear you saying those words, you will get in trouble because they just don't want you to say. Mm-hmm. And I've heard students say, well, why? Like, Because, you know, around that, especially middle school age, oh, you start you to question, question and yeah. you wonder, and maybe you're talking about something, but the teachers interpret it as, like, a derogatory term. Uh, well, you're, you might not interpret it that way. You're just having a conversation about it, or maybe you identify, you mm-hmm. know? But I think... You need to start having those conversations in elementary school and middle school. It needs to be talked about. It needs to be talked about at home and, you know, in your family so that when you're growing up and these things, like, are in the political light, it's not, like, fearful because you don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not aware. These things it needs to be talked about, I think. It, can't, it cannot not be talked about. Mm-hmm. Kids have too much accessibility to things right? for us not to talk about it, and especially in your own home. If yeah. you have certain views and you have certain beliefs then you need to talk to your child about these beliefs and things Mm -hmm. like that so they can either form their own or form your opinion on what it is because they're going to see it. They're going to see um, everything. These kids talk about Donald Trump, you know? Yeah. And and talk about that. I don't 11-year-old do that. I was like, but you know about political stuff. Exactly. (laughs) But this stuff, you know, teaches about humanity and love and respect, you know, all of that, which is very important. And I think it should be taught... In the home, too, but especially in schools, because when you're in school at that age, things, you mm-hmm. suck things up. When your teacher tells you something, it's like, oh, I better pay attention. I need to listen. I hear about this. I'm going to go home and ask my parents about this, you know? And I think I agree 100% with what you're saying. I think the hard part is, though, a lot of what people are, especially in homes, and it could be teachers can be biased, too, but can be hurtful. So they're yeah. not going to get the information that you and I mm-hmm. would be giving our children. It's like, yeah, there's, we can be like, if people don't like it, but some people are giving hateful messages that yeah. are just not going to help anything anyway. Yeah, I know this little 11-year-old that is just one of the most insightful 11-year-olds I've mm-hmm. ever met in my entire life. And she was talking about how um, she identifies as non-heterosexual. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just hear that terminology mm-hmm. for right. Let me go. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> I know a girl like that. Yeah, it just it's same baffles. same age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Yep. Or well, maybe some up. things are good with technology and stuff. Yeah. But she was just talking about how she wants to be an advocate for um, the gay com- gay community or whatever you know, minority of gender mm-hmm. and sexuality. She's like, because she's like, there's a lot of people out there who at home are getting really bad messages. They don't know better. Mm-hmm. They don't even know what they're saying is wrong or hurtful or mean. She said, because this is the messages that they're getting. And mm-hmm. I think if an 11-year-old can recognize that, mm-hmm. why the hell can not adults not? It just doesn't, it doesn't exactly. make sense. You know, I had a girl, I knew a girl that, you know, same age, say the same things. You know, she identified as... Um, well, she didn't want to identify as... She was... Every week, she would have, like, a new... I'm gender fluid. <laughs> okay. I'm this. It, it's hard. She mm-hmm. would change, you know, from week to week because she exactly didn't know. So, we talked about, you know... Yeah. You do have to pick one. You don't have to pick yeah. something, you, you know? Yeah, people. You never pick none. But she did a lot of research, but her meeting with me was, like, the only time she got to really talk about that stuff because she didn't talk about it with her family. It, you can't talk about it at school. So, that's really important. Imagine somebody who has nobody to talk about these mm-hmm. things with, you know? And they just spend all their time on the computer or on social network. That's all they get their. That's the only place they get their information from. You yeah. Know? And that's just information. It doesn't teach the heart of it or the to, the compassion part yes. of it, which I think is really important. It's like we're trying to fight people being accepted for just who they are, yeah. and I think the younger generation now. Is is accepting people for just who they are mm-hmm. and be like, hey, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you because you're not a nice person, not because you have curly hair mm-hmm. or because you're transgender. Like, you know, it's. I think that they're they're 
coming up, I mean, I don't know if we ever had this in any type of historical time of people accepting people for people, but I think we're really trying to fight against that. Well, not mm-hmm. we, but the, the society. Yeah. And I think that's because they have access to everything. Yeah. Yeah. And all the generations before that only had access to what our parents or our teachers or what our communities yeah. had. Those now, are exactly. Oh, now these kids, they can look up, oh, what is this mean? Or, oh, and they have YouTubers all over yeah. the country talking right. about all this mm-hmm. stuff exactly. and different representations of, you're seeing yes. all these different representations of personalities, people, things that people like. So it's yeah. like, a whole, a whole new world. As I, Watch <laughs> something happen to YouTube. New... That's why YouTube's blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I believe it's, right. a, it's a good thing. Oh, yeah. It's definitely. a good thing that that's happening, but it's very sad that we, as a society, can accept that and just accept people for what they want to... What does it matter if someone wants to go into the back? They're in stalls. Yeah. Like, so, I can't see you go to the bathroom. I don't care who exactly. goes to the bathroom. I know I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. And yeah. I'm locking that stall door. <laughs> So I think exactly. I think the takeaway from this is there like, we don't know why exactly yeah. I mean, we we have an idea of why but like we said we don't know why right. but I think the takeaway is to talk about it and have conversations amongst your friends and your family I know politics is like one of those yeah but it's not very political though yeah it's, if it's you think n- about it yeah. yeah I was gonna say it, politics is one of those things that can be kind of iffy but when you really you know think about it it's not really about politics like mm-hmm. it's on the news and everything but when you start talking about it I'm not saying my belief over your belief but I think it's just basic humanity and mm-hmm. yeah, compassion exactly. at the root of it I agree. there it is all right all right anybody have any final thoughts or us? no I think that no, was, that really was good. a good way to end off okay well take it away Keila. If you are an artist and would like us to play your music or have a product or brand that you would like us to advertise, or if you have any questions or comments, please email us at heartschat at heartschatradioshow.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Periscope at heartschat, and our Instagram at heartschatradio. We post a lot of motivational messages up throughout the day, so if you need a little inspiration or pick-me-up, follow our pages. And for more information on Heartschat, be sure to visit our website, www.heartschatradioshow.com. We hope you enjoyed our show today. Tune in every Sunday and Tuesday on HeartsChatRadioShow.com for a new episode of Hearts Chat. So don't forget to tune in again at HeartsChatRadioShow.com <laughs> and check us out. And visit my blog and ask me all of your relationship questions anonymously at FromEricasHeart.com. Thank you for listening to Hearts Chat where we speak from the heart. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.